Took an awful lot of grit from the Green Bay Packer defense to win their season opener 17-9 over the Seattle Seahawks before a 78,000 strong here at Lambeau Field. This was a scoreless game back and forth until Seattle was backed up late in the half. They had managed only uh, one first down until the final 30 seconds, but Russell Wilson made a big play to Doug Baldwin, ran for another big play, set up a field goal from Blair Walsh on the final game of the half, and despite dominating statistically, Packers found themselves trailing 3 to nothing. Leave it for the defense to turn things around. Mike Daniels, who dominated this game for the Packers on the interior of the defensive line, stripped Russell Wilson of the football. Kyler Fackrell recovered at the six, and on the very next snap, the new running back, Ty Montgomery, smashed in from six yards out to put the Packers on top, a lead they would not give up. Seattle was able to get another field goal, but then the Packers do what they do very well, except free things. They had 12 men on the field. How many times does Aaron Rodgers catch defenses that way? Did it again, and he hit Jordy Nelson on a 32-yard post pattern to make it a 14-6 ball game. Seahawks tacked on one more. Packer defense wouldn't let them get into the end zone the rest of the way, and they get themselves a hard-earned victory over a fellow NFC contender. 17-9, the final Packers rack up 370 yards, hold the Seahawks well under 200. Eddie Lacy's return? Yeah, not so. I think he had five carries for, what, three yards uh, in rushing? Green Bay's defense was the story on opening day, and they'll have to be in week two when they head to Atlanta for that little rematch with the Falcons. From Lambeau Field, I'm Mark Daniels.